Hi guys, my name's Tara Bostic. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. How are you doing today? Today I did a very Tana Mojo-esque, older sister-esque look using just some products I already had. If you wanna see how I got this look, keep watching. I'm gonna try this whole, the, the gummy bear. How did I make eating a gummy? Looks so cute. Mm. It's a men's health gummy. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Anyhow, if you're back or if you've already like subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I was looking at my analytics and it looks like 70% of people aren't subscribed. I really appreciate the support. It just lets me know if I'm doing a good job or if you're liking the content I'm putting out. Go ahead, comment down below. Let me know what you would like to see or what you would want to hear or talk about more. And I'm totally down to take like your advice or whatever. Let's grow this thing together. Let's have fun. If you want to see this look and how I achieved it, keep watching. Oh yeah, hair by Monroe Styles. Uh, check out her Instagram. She's here in Portland. If you you want a great like banging hair color and uh, weave, go to her. She's my sister. That's not the only reason I'm repping her. The girl is good at what she does. All right, thank you and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, like I said in the video, we are becoming Tana Mojo. Her older sister, girl's a lot younger than me. So I have not contoured yet because Tana has nice high cheekbones. She has a long slender nose. I have a longer nose, but it's kind of big. I normally don't pay too much mind to contouring my nose. I think I've talked about that before just because I don't see the allure in having a perfectly skinny nose. I, however, cannot find my contour palette for the life of me. So I'm gonna be going in with my um, Park Avenue Princess by Tarte which has like a cooler tone. So we're just gonna make do with what we have. Sneagle's over here batting my makeup brushes around. So that's fun. So I am gonna start with the nose just because I don't do it often. I'm not that great at it. I usually just put a little bronzer on so you don't lose the nose in the face. And I like this little brush here for my nose. It's a little Coastal Scents brush, but it has that arch, which is perfect to get right up into the crease, not crease, but the crevice right here. All right, that's enough for right now. We'll obviously be going back in I always start my contour by just kind of bronzing up first anyways, and then I go in with a smaller brush. It's just how I do it. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I love how bronzing makes you look a little bit more alive. I was like, I turned this on, I was like, why do I look so bland? And then I was like, oh, duh. I feel like as the holidays are approaching, I'm already feeling that like time crunch of everything. Traffic's getting a little bit more heavier. I don't know, I hate, I love the holidays, but I hate how jam packed it is trying to fit every little thing in. And I always try to like work a little bit more if I can. All right, now that we have a little bit of color in our face, I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. That was a uh, Moda Royal and Lingnickel brush I have. I really like it for a bronzer, not too big, not too small. So I'm taking Princess Cut, the cooler tone, and I'm just gonna go chisel a little bit more. This part makes me nervous, and it's probably the brush I'm using, but I feel like this is when it starts getting, or can start getting a little patchy. I'm like, ooh, don't mind that. I also feel like there's parts of my skin or face where pigment just doesn't stick as well. Does anybody else feel that way? Because I do. Really? 
really try to shade in that double chin there. That's fun. I watched a couple of her uh, cake your face like a, we'll say a pro for right now videos just to kind of get an idea of kind of what she's into. So I'm going to bake under my contour. This is a step that I do anytime I contour. Not every time that I slap bronzer on. I'm sorry, they're doing like yard work outside. Like, thank you for asking for my permission, fuckers. All right, why that's baking, I don't, I don't know how heavy she goes with blush. I feel like she wears blush. I know she's not a huge highlight girl, which is fine. Um, I've been backing off highlight a little bit, probably just because it's the winter season. Um, so I'm just mixing out of another Tarte palette I have, the Tarte Glow Pro. I'm mixing the two shadows in there. One's a little more pinky, one's a little bit more rosy. And I just go kind of heavy with blush. I always go heavy with blush just because it's the first thing to fade. Tana uses like a cool tone shadow out of an Urban Decay palette. I don't have that. So I mix together and actually I'm kind of like really liking this uh, brow combo I got. So I used my taupe from Dip Brow. Uh, Anastasia and then my NYX brow gel and I mix the two together for you know a cooler darker tone I feel like the taupe when I go in alone it's almost well actually now that I've had it for a while it's not as slippery but I didn't like how slippery it was like it was a little too emollient when I went to put it on um, and a little too dark but mixed with that I'll probably do that more often so I think just so that my cheeks don't look, they look, they stick out a little bit more. I'm not really highlighting, but I'm just taking the two highlight shades lightly on my brush just to add like almost like a blush topper to make them shine a little bit, a little bit more glowy. Cause I do love being a little bit more glowy. It's definitely more youthful. I always like some of the YouTubers that I've been watching for quite a while, I'll hear them talk about I don't know what it is. I used to love a matte skin and now I'm just in love with more dewy skin, more healthy. It's it's because you're aging, honey. <laughs> I mean, it looks great. Don't get me wrong, but it's because you're aging. It looks better because your fine lines aren't showing as much as with like the matte. It's sorry, you're aging. It sucks, but that's why. So I just want to top out this crease right here from my concealer. Tana does like a peachy orange eye and it's actually kind of just a basic eye, which is fine. I like that. So my Tati Beauty palette. I'm sure I have a more peachier palette, but I, I don't know. Maybe it's with my contour palette, lost in no man's land. So I am gonna go in with Aura on the inner corner because I noticed Tana really brightens up, brightens, brightens up her inner corner. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Why is that so weird? I feel like Aura could be used for a very like light um, highlight. Might as well put it all over the lid because it will help lighten up the color I go with on top just in case it's too dark at first. Putting a white powder down under like all over the lid can really like help lighten up any color and then just give you a really nice gradient with that color. I really need like a camera. So I brought out my iPad so I can have a pull up a picture because I film on my phone so I can pull up a picture of Tana, but I can't get it to connect to the Wi-Fi because I don't know the password. My husband does. Um, so I'm just kind of going off memory. So I'm going to dip in Soothe right here, which is brown and Story. And I'm hoping that those two colors on top of my white base will look a little peachy. 
which I like. I don't like this brush. It's a Morphe brush. But that being said, it's a clean brush. But it kind of deposits the color funny and patchy. So I really got to work harder than I prefer to blend out. It was funny. So after I got my hair done, um, my friend was like, oh my God, you look like Tana Mojo. And I was like, okay, I wish girl, but thank you. So I was like, mm, let's do a recreation of a Tana Mojo look. I seen this video where she's wearing this cobalt blue hoodie. Tana wears uh, baggier hoodies. Uh, she's probably half my size. So that looks good on her. Uh, me, it just, I look like I'm wearing a bag. So I put on my cobalt, which is one of my favorite colors. So that's probably also why I was just like, okay, yeah, let's do that. Cause the baggy tee, baggy hoodie, that doesn't work for me. Smiggles here on my lap. It is so gray here today. And I'm just doing like bright summer bronzy skin. So. I picked up this Maybelline eyeliner and I'm gonna attempt to put on eyeliner because I noticed Tana wears eyeliner. So we're wearing eyeliner. Is the first eye that goes on okay? You start thin because you know what? By the time you're trying to even this up, you may just have a black smoky eye. <laughs> Real, real tea right there. So, Tana is a fan of Lily Lashes. I think she often wears Miami, but I know she's worn some Mykonos, and I have Mykonos, so that's what I'm gonna wear. Those are some lashes. All right. While those are drying down, before I can pinch them together, I'm going to wipe off this bake. I always use the same Morphe brush. Okay, so, Tana has much bigger lips than me. I love her lips. They're nice and full. I need to add a little bit more to my upper lip. She wears like a pinky tone lip, so I'm going to use or do a pinky tone lip, and I'm gonna try to overline my lips well, more than what I normally would. We'll see how this turns out. What is this? Oh, this is from Mud Makeup from when I was in school. Czech Republic, oh, that's where it was made. I don't know what color it is, but these glide on like butter. big all right this is the look so far I think I'll go in with just a little bit more bronzer I usually always do this anyways just by the time you get all your makeup on you realize like oh I can add a little bit here or there or whatever All right, this is the finished look, my Tana Mojo inspired look. I actually, I'm loving this. My skin looks so good today. I'm liking the darker brows, these big fun lashes. I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. So I am gonna do this again next time I actually have something to do other than work. Um, thank you, Tana. Do I look like your older sister? What do you think? Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support. Thank you for being here. Have a good day or evening wherever you're at. Bye.